Hey guys, welcome to our brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two jets. One has just one jet engine, the next has two. This will be our first comparison video where we compare a single engine jet to a twin engine jet. Our first aircraft is the Cirrus Vision SF-50. The next aircraft is the Honda Jet Elite. Honda claims to be refining aerodynamic breakthroughs. The Honda Jet Elite inherited Honda aircraft aeronautical breakthroughs, including the over-the-wing engine mount configuration, natural laminar flow fuselage nose and wing, and composite fuselage. In addition to these innovations, Honda aircraft has further refined several aerodynamic technologies, enabling the aircraft to fly farther with less noise pollution. Honda also has a commitment to bluer skies. The Honda Jet Elite not only transports passengers to beautiful and remote locations around our planet, but it also protects those places for the next generation to visit. The Honda Jet Elite is one with the Earth as it quickly yet efficiently climbs to the highest cruising altitude in its class, using less fuel and emitting less greenhouse gases than similarly sized twin-engine business jets. Rated the highest in its class, the Honda Jet Elite is designed to be significantly more fuel efficient than any other business jet in its class. It uses an average of 8,250 gallons of fuel a year less than any other aircraft in its class based on 275 flights per year with an average mission of 600 nautical miles. And it can hold up to 6 passengers. The Cirrus Vision SF-50, also known as the Vision Jet, is a single-engine very light jet designed and produced by Cirrus Aircraft of the state of Minnesota in the United States. The combination of the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, or CAPS, and Safe Return Emergency Auto Line provides the ultimate level of safety and assurance exclusively available in the Vision Jet. Designed around the largest cabin in its class, the carbon fiber fuselage creates spaciousness with unexpected head and shoulder room and panoramic windows for an immersive experience. The Cirrus Vision Jet carries up to five adults and two children, but the remarkable achievement is that you can have this level of jet performance in a true personal aircraft that doesn't require an entire flight operations department to fly and maintain. The flight deck of the Cirrus Vision Jet features Cirrus Perspective Touch Plus by Garmin Avionics. It has touchscreen controllers and widescreen 14-inch flight displays and digital autopilot. On the other hand, the Honda Jet Elite has the Garmin G3000 Next Generation All-Class Avionics System, which brings pilot and aircraft closer together with touchscreen technology. The dual touchscreen controllers and three 14-inch landscape high-resolution displays offer enhanced navigation, flight planning, and control. We will now compare the power plant of these two aircraft. The engine manufacturer for the Cirrus Vision Jet is Williams International. The Cirrus Vision Jet is powered by a FJ33-5A turbine engine with FADEC and auto throttle with an output of 1,846 pounds of force. The engine manufacturer for the Honda Jet Elite is GE Honda Aero Engines, which is a joint venture between General Electric and Honda. The Honda Jet Elite is powered by two GE Honda HF120 engine models with an output of 2,050 pounds of force each with a bypass ratio of 2.9. Next is a comparison between the performance of these two aircraft. When it comes to speed, the Honda Jet Elite wins. The Cirrus Vision Jet has a max cruise speed of 311 knots while the Honda Jet Elite has a max cruise speed of 422 knots. Next, we'll take a look at the service ceiling and climb rates of these aircraft. The Cirrus Vision Jet has a service ceiling of 31,000 feet, but the Honda Jet Elite has a service ceiling of 43,000 feet. The Cirrus Vision Jet advertises a climb rate of 1,609 feet per minute. The Honda Jet Elite advertises a climb rate of 4,100 feet per minute. Next, onto the range of these two aircraft. The Cirrus Vision Jet has a maximum range of 1,275 nautical miles, 
The Honda Jetta Leap has a maximum range of 1,437 nautical miles. Now let's talk about how much runway length these aircraft need. The Cirrus Vision Jet needs 3,192 feet to take off and 1,628 feet to land. The Honda Jetta Leap needs 3,500 feet or less to take off and land. The Cirrus Vision Jet has a cost of about 2,380,000 to 2,750,000 US dollars based on the G2 model in 2019, while the Honda Jetta Leap has a higher price tag of around 5,280,000 US dollars based on 2019 pricing. Now we're going to compare the fuel consumption of these two aircraft. The Cirrus Vision Jet consumes about 462 pounds an hour at maximum cruise speed and 315 pounds an hour at an economical cruise. The Honda Jet Elite consumes 999 pounds an hour when flying at 419 knots at 33,000 feet and 543 pounds an hour when flying at 360 knots at 43,000 feet. Lastly, we will compare the interior and exterior dimensions. The Cirrus Vision Jet has a cabin width of 5.1 feet and a cabin height of 4.1 feet. On the outside, the Cirrus Vision Jet is 30.7 feet long, 10.9 feet tall, with a wingspan of 38.7 feet. The Honda Jet Elite has a cabin width of 5 feet and a cabin height of 4.83 feet. And on the outside, the Honda Jet Elite is 42.62 feet long, 14.9 feet tall, and has a wingspan of 39.76 feet. Thanks for watching this video. I would like to know your thoughts on the Honda Jet Elite and Cirrus Vision Jet. If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been on the Aviator, and I'm out. <laughs>